Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel Physics with Oliver. Before starting the problem, I will request you to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Let's start today's problem. The circuit diagram shown here corresponds to the logic gate. Uh, one circuit is given here and from the circuit we have to say that this circuit corresponds to which logic gate? Is it NAND gate, NOR gate, AND gate or OR gate? Okay, let's start. At first, we will draw the circuit. Okay, at first we will draw the circuit. Uh, you can say, you can see here two switch are there. This is first switch A and this is second switch B. Okay, when the switch is not connected, we will say it is zero state. When the switch is connected, we will say, say that it is one state. Okay, so at first we will consider when A is at zero state and B also is at zero state. That means A is also uh, disconnected and B is also disconnected. Okay, that means the diagram which is given. So in this situation, in this situation, this is the battery. Okay, current is flowing in this way that current is coming. This path is discontinued. This path is not complete, right? That means infinite resistances are there. So current will not go to this path. Uh, next, the current is going in this way. And it will also not follow this path. Because this path is also incomplete. That means infinite resistance. Current always follow that path. Uh, which path have lesser resistance. Okay, resistance means obstruction. Where the obstruction is less, the current will follow that path. So, the current will follow this path and then ground. Right? Circuit is complete. That means in this case, the current is passing through the LED light. So, the light will... So, the light will glow. Right? So, here Y is written. When the light is glowing, we will write 1. When the light is not glowing, we will write 0. Okay. Here light is glowing. Why we are writing A0, B0? A is disconnected. That means 0. B is disconnected. That means B equals to 0. And the light is glowing. That means Y equals to 1. Okay. Now we will follow the, the second way. I am erasing this. When A is connected... Uh, sorry, B is connected, A is disconnected. We will follow this. When, see, when B is connected and A is disconnected, that means A is 0, B is connected, that means B is 1. Okay, now see the fl uh, flow of the current. Current is coming this way, but current will not go towards the A because this path is discontinued. This path is incomplete, so the current will not follow this path. Current will come this path. Now, in this junction, current uh, will go in which direction? We have to decide. If we, uh, if the current follow this path, then current will go through this way to the ground, right? And it will not face any resistance. But if the current follow this path, then the current have to face resistances, right? So, the current will not follow this path. The current will follow this path. I am drawing the path of the current using red ink. Right? This will be the path of the current. And uh, you can see through the LED light, the current is not passing here. That means the bulb will not glow. That means the output will be zero because the bulb is not glowing. Okay? Clear? For the next case, I am erasing these things for the next case. Next case, B will be disconnected and A should be connected. Okay. So, for the next case, we can say A is connected, B is disconnected. A is connected, so we will write 1. B is disconnected, so we will write 0. Okay. So, now the current will follow this path. I am drawing the path using the red. Because if the current follow this path, then it will uh, face lesser resistance, right? It, uh, it will not follow this path. 
because if it follow this path it have to face this resistance and it will not follow this path because this is infinite resistance path okay so for this case also the bulb is not glowing because current is not flowing through the bulb so bulb is not glowing that means the output is zero okay now we consider the next case when a b both are connected when a b both are connected a b both are connected means a is equals to 1 and b is equals to 1 both are connected we will draw this both are connected so now current will follow this path and this path also both are lesser resistance path and for this case also the current is not flowing through the led so the bulb will not glow and the output will be zero right so this is the truth table of this circuit we have made this now we have to understand that this is similar to which logic gate right we know for AND gate the logic uh, for AND gate the truth table is A, B, Y. This is for AND gate. And we will write this for NAND gate also. This is for NAND gate. Okay. So if this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. For AND gate this should be 0, 0, 0, 1. And for NAND gate this should be 1, 1, 1, 0 right Bo uh, these two are not similar to this case so the option and and nat is, nand is not applicable here so we will draw the truth table of nor gate and or gate this is for or gate and this is for nor gate okay so we will write this 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so this will be 0, this will be 1, this will be 1 and 1. And this will be 1, 0, 0, 0. See, the result which we get here is similar to the result here. So this circuit corresponds to the logic kit that is NOR. So NOR will be the right answer. Thank you everyone for watching the video. I think... It is clear to you. If, have, if you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you. Hello everyone. Welcome back to your channel Physics with Oliver. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Today we will start another problem. The binding energy per nucleon for 1H1, 1H3 and 2 he 4 r a b and c respectively so the binding energy of protium is a tritium is b and for helium it is c these are the binding energy we have to consider this is not binding energy these are the binding energy per nucleon how many nucleons are there we have to calculate. We can see that in the, in the first atom two nucleons are, uh, sorry, uh, one nucleons are there. This is the mass number. Mass number means, mass number means number of proton plus number of neutron, right? So, Proton and neutron, these are the nucleons. So, total number of nucleons means the mass number. So, for the first atom, the total mass number is uh, 1. That means the total number of nucleon is 1. So, the first atom, these are the uh, binding energy per nucleon. And the total binding energy is 1 into A, right? And for the second atom, the total number of nucleons are 3. So, the total binding energy is 3 into B. And for the third atom, the number of nucleon is 4. So, the total binding energy is 4 into C. Right? Okay. Now, consider this equation. We have to calculate how, how uh, much energy is released in this nuclear reaction. 
so in this nuclear reaction we can see this is the product and these are the reactants right these are the reactants so the energy released here energy is released so energy released is equals to the total binding energy of reactants minus total binding energy of products right so total binding energy of reactants are a plus 3b so a plus 3b minus binding energy of products binding energy of products is 4c so the amount of energy released is equals to a plus 3b minus 4c this will be the correct option okay thank you everyone for watching the video like share and subscribe